Hey guys, welcome to another quick tip video. This is Andre from PSD Box, and today I want to show you how you can turn layer styles into normal layers. I have this text here on a. I just made this a quick setup, and I have this text here, and I'll open it to add some layer styles to it. And I'll add the first thing I'll do is add a gradient overlay, change the blend mode, let's say to soft light, maybe decrease. The opacity, I don't like the soft light, let's choose multiply. Something like that. Let's add a drop shadow. Deactivate, use global light. The styles that you add are really not important at all. I'm just uh, trying to do something really quick here. And let's set distance to 2 and change the color to... Let's see some crazy color here something like that and maybe some inner shadow and the same direction zero size and distance one or two so you can see it better change the color to white set this not to normal i don't like it maybe something like that and some inner glow Change the line mode to overlay. And while this is uh, just a quick uh, style, I'll deactivate inner glow because I don't like how it looks. And now, well, I get uh, this effect. Well, actually, let's leave inner shadow and maybe increase the size. Something like that. And, well, I have my style applied, but now I want to have some drop shadow to separate this a bit from the background. I'll open the layer styles again and I find that I already used the drop shadow. So if I want to add another one, what can I do? What some people would do is just uh, duplicate the text and just move it a bit and that's it. But uh, there's actually a way to fix that and that is really easy by turning this, you can turn this all this adjustment, this layer style, sorry, into normal layers. If you click this arrow here, you can see each of the layer styles that you used and if you want to use the drop shadow again what you can do is right click on it you have this list here and you have to choose create layers and you might get a message like this just click OK and you can see that now you turned all the layers all the layer styles into normal layers so you can deactivate any of them and one thing you will notice is that you will no longer have that uh, FX icon there but um, you will see that this icon changes and I don't know if this is only in Photoshop CS6 but uh, you'll get this new icon and that's because you have this checked transparency shape layers and I think I think it's for that you'll also get this icon if you activate any of this uh, any of this uh, settings here any of these options on the blending options but the, the important thing is that you now have cleared all this style so you can use them again. So I'll use drop shadow again, change the angle. And just, uh, well, add your style. And I can use inner glow again, but maybe change the color. So this technique is really useful if you want to apply the same layer style on the same layer multiple times. One disadvantage of this is that you will... Uh, this, if you want to resize the text, um, it, it will not going to work because these are fixed. These are no longer linked to the um, to the size of the text, so uh, these are just normal layers. Uh, also, notice that the blend mode is kept, and also the the settings like the opacity, the fill, are kept the same. So, in other words, if you set um, the drop shadow to multiply. When you change, when you turn this into a layer, I'll do it now again. Create layers, click OK. Uh, let's find the drop shadow. Um, I don't know where it is. Here, you will see that I still have that multiply and the fill at seventy five percent, and this is made automatic. You can see that uh, the clipping mask was created automatically and the drop shadow is under the layer because uh, it's under it and it also kept that blending mode so uh, that's the quick tip of today
by the way, if you want to see more quick tips, I have a playlist uh, with quick tips and just uh, find my playlists and I have a play uh, playlist with quick tips and they're all short videos like this one explaining all sort of uh, cool uh, tips and tricks. I would also recommend uh, visiting Manny Photography's channel. Uh, you'll have a lot of cool video about uh, all sorts of uh, techniques, also uh, Lightroom uh, videos, uh, you can see uh, all sorts of uh, cool tricks and techniques to make your images pop and how to work with layers. Uh, if you're a beginner, uh, he has a lot of um, tutorials about Photoshop tools and uh, you can see a lot of uh, quick quick uh, tricks that you can use in Photoshop and uh, the, his videos are really, really cool. So well, that's uh, all for now. Thank you for watching and see you next time.